day to you. You're welcome to RCCG Oklahoma City's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adiboye. And I pray that as you join me today, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, August 1, 2020, we'll be looking at the topic, Prayers for Your Community or Neighborhood. Prayers for your community, your neighborhood. We all know and I believe we all do know that our neighborhood needs our prayers. Our communities need our prayers so that we can live in safety and in harmony. Um, first of all, we'll be looking at our memory verse, which is taken from the book of Psalm 114, Psalm 144, verse 13, which says that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store, that our sheep may bring four thousands and ten thousands in our streets. Amen. We'll be taking a Bible text from the book of Romans chapter 12 from verses 15 to 16. It says, Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. So we are being told to rejoice with those that rejoice and weep with them that weep. We should all be of one mind together. This is very important to us as human beings. And God is advising us or is commanding us to do these things. So we'll be going into prayers this morning. And I pray that God will bless us in Jesus' name. Our first prayer point says, Father, thank you for my community or neighborhood. Thank you for the local government officials, elected representatives, and all leaders within the community. Father, I want to say thank you for our communities and our neighborhood. Thank you for our local leaders, our elected officials. Thank you, O oh God, for all leaders within our communities. Thank you because you've been helping them. Thank you for peace in our communities. Thank you for peace in our neighborhoods. Thank you for your protection. Thank you because we are not running out of skelter. Thank you because it has not become a war zone. It has not become um, a refugee camp. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you because you are guiding our locally elected leaders. Thank you because you are guiding our representatives. Thank you because they are doing your will. Glory be to your holy name in the name of Jesus. Let's say, Father, I take over this community or my neighborhood for you. As I preach the gospel in this neighborhood, let everyone give their lives to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, I take over this community and as many as are also praying along, Father, help them to take over their communities in the name of Jesus. Lord, we take over our communities, we take over our neighborhood. As we preach the gospel, I will become a shining light in our neighborhoods, in our communities. Father, let so be one to you. Let our communities be your place be a place where you will dwell. Let our communities be one for you. Let them be taken over for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's say, Father, increase the rate of the development of my community or neighborhood. Let it become the home of great discoveries and success. Father, Lord God Almighty, we are asking that you will increase the development of our local communities, increase the development of my neighborhood, increase the development of my community. Let it be a home of discoveries, let it be a home of successes in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be development in my local neighborhood. Let there be development in my community in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's say, Father, arrest every witch or wizard operating within or around my community or neighborhood with your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, arrest every witch or wizard operating around my local community in the name of Jesus. Every witch or wizard that wants to cause calamity, that wants to cause problems in my neighborhood, in my community. Father, arrest them. Expose them and arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's say, Father, make this neighborhood free from crime and every form of unrest in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, make our neighborhoods free of crime. Let them be crime free. Let them be free of every form of unrest. We want to dwell in safety, we want to dwell in harmony, we want to dwell in peace. Lord God Almighty, let our communities, our neighborhoods, let them be crime free. Let them be free of unrest in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's say, Father, 
make me a spiritual and financial blessing to the people of my community. Lord God Almighty, please make us, Lord God Almighty, financers of our community. Make us financial blessings to our community. Make us financial blessings to the people around us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, make us financial blessings. Make us blessings to people in our neighborhood, to people in our community in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, let's say, Father, let us have, let us only have cause to celebrate with each other rather than mourn in our neighborhood in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in our neighborhood, let, only ha let us only have reasons to rejoice, to celebrate, to, to enjoy together, to celebrate, to, to have good gatherings in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, let it never be for sorrow. Let us not be together for sorrow. In our neighbor, let us have reasons to rejoice with one another, reasons to celebrate with one another in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us say, Father, don't let any disease outbreak in this neighborhood in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please do not let any form of disease outbreak occur in my neighborhood or in my community in the name of jesus let where we dwell be a land of goshen in the mighty name of jesus let our neighbors our communities let them be land of goshen in the name of jesus where no evil no catastrophe will come to in the mighty name of jesus father let there be love amongst us in this neighborhood let's cry to the almighty god our father Please let there be love amongst us for everyone that is living in my neighborhood, in our neighborhood as a whole. Father, let there be love. Let there be oneness. Let there be togetherness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be love in our neighborhood. Let there be love in our communities in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's see if, Father, I bless the ground of this neighborhood. It will only yield good things for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bless the ground of our neighborhood. The Father, this ground will yield only good for us. It will not yield evil in the mighty name of Jesus. The ground that we step upon in our neighborhoods, Father, let them yield good in the name of Jesus. We bless those lands. We bless the soil in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them yield good for us in the name of Jesus. Let's say, Father, I pray that the leaders of this community will lead us with the fear of God. Lord, we are committing the leaders of our communities into your hands, the leaders of our neighborhoods, our local leaders, our elected leaders, our elected representatives. Father, let them lead us with your fear. Let them have your fear. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them have your fear. In the name of Jesus, let them do what will bring development, will bring peace, will bring prosperity to we, the citizens or the residents of this neighborhood. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, help us. Lord, help us. Help our leaders. In the name of Jesus. Let's say, lastly, that Father, your special Lord, Father, please bless my neighborhood. In the name of Jesus. And ask for a special request concerning your neighborhood. We all have various neighborhoods. We have different neighborhoods. You know what obtains your own neighborhood. Bless your neighborhood and ask God for a special request concerning your neighborhood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we pray for all our neighbors. Let it be well. Let there be peace. Let there be prosperity. Let there be development. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be well with all of us, all every resident of our local communities and neighbors. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Um, my Father in Lord is saying that He stands in agreement with us today and He prays that the Lord will grant all our requests concerning our communities or neighborhood in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Throughout the day, let us continue to pray for our neighborhoods. Let us continue to pray for our communities, every resident and leaders. And I pray that God will answer us by fire in Jesus' name. Our action point is that be a shining light in your community. It's not just enough to pray. We have to be shining lights in our community. And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. God bless you.